And so the time has arrived for the early access review of Monster Jam Steel Titans. I'd like to thank the good folks at Rainbow Studios and THQ Nordic for this early access opportunity. But enough of the blurb, because that's not what you're here for. What you're here for is, of course, the review of the game. Now, important stuff that you need to know immediately is that if you're watching this day of review, the embargo lifts at 11am 24th, the game is releasing tomorrow, the 25th, and it's on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. I'm playing the PS4 version, so... Let's get into it. What do you need to know about the game? If you're unfamiliar with games like this, will you enjoy it? If you are familiar with stuff like Monster Trucks, MX vs ATV, that kind of arena stunt based driving game, will you enjoy this one, etc. So first of all, let's talk about what stood out to me first. And that was the graphics. Now the graphics in a game like this are kind of like the physics. They're not necessarily what the game is dependent on. So anything good about them is kind of a bonus. It's not like it's trying to rival Gran Turismo or something. So the graphics I actually do like. And one of my favorite things about the game is actually, kind of ironically, what games like Forza and Gran Turismo often get wrong, and that is the scenery. Often, driving games focus all of the graphics power on the cars or the vehicles in general themselves, and then the scenery can sometimes look a little bit whack. Whereas in a game like this, a stunt game, a lot of rally games, you'll see this as well, the scenery looks really good. The attention to detail is very focused, even stuff in the distance still looks good. It does here, and the open world aspect of the game kind of means that that is essential. It needs to look good if you're roaming around every square inch of the place, and that is exactly what you're doing. You start off in this one area, you get to know the vehicle, you can very quickly shift up into a second vehicle, which you'll see me using a lot, and you can unlock new areas of the game as, of course, you progress through. Now, this is not just a stunt-based game. If you are more of a racing fan, you won't necessarily be disappointed either, because there is plenty of racing in the game as well, and doubtless I will feature some of that footage edited in here also. A lot of jump-based racing with some more like cross-country point-to-point kind of stuff where you have checkpoints, but you can kind of make your own way there. So you can mess up or you can make up a lot of time depending on how you drive. In terms of the physics, well, one of the great things about any game like this is that because it's not trying to be the most realistic thing out there, usually, any kind of realism is usually a bonus. Because, you know, most games where you've got dirt bikes, ATVs, monster trucks, you can just press L1, turn left, and flip 4,800 times before you land, and it's like nothing. Or like playing an old Tony Hawk game, where you just XXYY, circle square, and you like, you know, shoot flames out your backside or something. And Nigel Beaverhausen blast. <laughs> but that's not realistic, of course. But, in this game, they've made much more of a focus on making it feel, actually... Surprisingly accurate. Doing tricks is not necessarily as easy as you'd think. Getting the car to do, for instance, a flip. You can see the little thrusters underneath the body shooting little bits of flame out. Now, when you flip the car, you can easily smash it just straight upside down. And of course, you can right the vehicle if you land sideways. You can do a power out, which is very fun. <laughs> it's kind of like break dancing with a monster truck. And in terms of the vehicle itself, you can feel the weight of it, and that's something which you can immediately notice when you first start playing the game, and it's something that I liked about it, actually, because this is a monster truck. It shouldn't feel like you're driving a rally car. It's this huge, heavy, monstrous thing, and that's kind of the point of the game. It needs to feel right. If it feels like a smart car with huge wheels, then you've done something wrong. This doesn't. They feel big, they feel heavy, but they don't feel cumbersome. They feel and move just like they would in an actual arena when you're watching them, which is surprisingly fast because of how powerful they are, and also because the wheelbase is not ridiculously long in comparison to the width and the height, they're very maneuverable, almost like driving a big cube area vehicle instead of a long rectangle kind of car, if you know what I mean, in terms of the center of gravity. So in terms of the physics, I like it. The tricks might not necessarily put some people off, but some people might find them a bit frustrating to begin with because you've got to get it right, otherwise the car will just flip over. 
which is, as I said, far more realistic. So if you're looking purely to just go ridiculously over the top, then it might not be the game for you. But if you're looking for a more grounded approach at monster trucks, you actually just might. The graphics are good, the lighting, the colors, the soundtrack is, as you'd expect, metal. <laughs> and in terms of the career progression, or if there is one, for instance, because that's not guaranteed in a game like this, I found that the career is not the kind of thing that I would traditionally put a massive amount of time into, because this is more the kind of game which is similar, for instance, to the way I feel about Project Gotham Racing, which is I mainly play it to experience the vehicles, and the career mode is always secondary to that. This is kind of the same, because you've got 25 vehicles in the game, and of course they all work with essentially the same specs, it's just different bodies, my favourite's probably Megalodon, and you unlock these cars, you can smash off the bodywork, and if you smash it off, they all look the same underneath, so it's essentially just who you want to represent. Kind of like wrestling with vehicles, <laughs> in effect. And in terms of, as I said, that career mode, the way it factors in is that you play through career mode and you don't necessarily earn money in a traditional sense. You more earn points based on if you achieve certain things in certain events and certain races. And that's an interesting way of doing it. I kind of like that. Because, for instance, you can just win a race, which is what you'd usually do to win the cash. But in this game, you can win, and that will get you a certain amount of reward. But you can also win in a certain time, and it will win you even more. And you can win in like a really crazy fast time, and that will win you even more. You can do certain tricks along the way, and that will get you extra points. You can do certain goals within the event or within the race that will get you that much more. And then you can upgrade the vehicle. Suspension, uh, gearbox, I believe, the engine, etc. So it's not just getting a monster truck and flip it over a whole bunch of times. It's actually a lot better than that in terms of career progression, and there's more stuff to do than just smashing up a monster truck. Which is, of course, fun, but for those who do want to progress through the game, there's certainly more there on offer. And actually, the vibe of the game overall kind of reminds me of a cross between MX vs. ATV and Dirt, the first Colin McRae Dirt game. Those two kind of put together sort of reminds me of this. So overall, if you are into monster trucks, it's not exactly a crowded market out there, so you'll probably want to give this one a look. If you are more of a Simcade racer usually, then check it out. I wouldn't say it's an absolute must-have, but you might find you might find it fun. You might get some fun out of it. And if you are into this kind of game anyway, well, then uh, of course you will, because it offers everything you would want from that game, plus an extra layer of the better graphics, better physics, and better realism. So overall, that's it for my thoughts on... Monster Jam Steel Titans. And again, thanks to the good folks over at Rainbow Studios and THX, or THQ actually, Nordic, <laughs> for giving me early access review to the game. So go and check it out if you think that it interests you. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.